So we need to make video today. Maybe we should just be silly. What do you think? That's hard for me to do. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. It is. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to wait a minute. Big head, little head. Let's, let's try this, okay? Now, go the other way. I don't like it the other way. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Yes. Are you making okay. a face? Okay, now, let's just make a face for the... Um, um, thumbnail. The thumbnail, yeah. We're going to make a face for the... <clears throat> okay, now we're going to make a face for the thumbnail. Are you ready? What about that frog in your throat? It's, it's gone. Do I know it is. <laughs> do, do you want... Hold it up like that. Like this? Yes. Is that better? Yes. How about sideways a little? No? Oh, my arm's getting tired. Hold it up. To okay, right there. Look over there at the camera lens. Okay, let's make a let, let's make a dumb thumbnail. Okay, are you ready? Make a face. Did you make one? I don't know. Well, you know, my mother told me when I was a little kid, stop making faces, it'll freeze. One day, yeah, I made this one. <laughs> <laughs> Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Do you remember when we first came to Mexico? How many years ago was that? 20, 20 21? Yeah. 2001, right? Yeah. And I wasn't going to work anymore? Yeah. And you said you're not either? Yeah. And you used to be the cook? Yeah. And I had to learn how to cook. Yeah. And I'm up to two recipes after 20 years. Oh, baloney. <laughs> so, what do you think I made for dinner? Estufe. Estufe. You're absolutely right. Check this out. Shrimp etouffee. The sauce. The Cajun shrimp. Rice and plate it up. Shrimp etouffee. Why are you pointing the camera at me? Because I like you. Not because I needed a picture of an older lady. No, uh, uh, well, older than. Speaking of older. Yo, speaking of, I. Um, I met the uh, uh, new gardener next door. Oh, the caretaker? Yeah, that guy. And his name is Roberto. Uh, what, oh, Hola, Juan. Hola. Los costales los quiere acostados o parados, This is a, 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 a película in English. Costales, así o así? Costales. To hablar inglés. Uh, the costales? Sí. Pa si parados o acostados? Uh, I want the, to do the, it. The first way. Parados? Sí. No, primero. Uh, where were we? Oh, I met Roberto next door, the new gardener. Yeah. Um, How old is he? He's an older guy. Well, when you say older, do you, are you talking about older than us or just an older guy? Well, he can be older and still not be as old as us. That's exactly right. <laughs> I don't think of myself as being older. I just said that as a joke. And then when I think about it, I am older. Well... Um, as long as they I, don't start calling me old lady Clausen. I, I should have, 
I should have. Hey, we never tell anybody our last name on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> not the same as yours anyway. It is too. <laughs> <laughs> you, blew, you blew that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have the same last name. We have the same uh, middle name. Don't, and, don't say it. Don't say the middle name. And But we have the same middle name and... Yeah. And the same last name. And the same last name. We also have the same wedding anniversary. That's right. Right. And the same address. Yeah. Well, we're, I can't hardly tell you from me. I can. We're so much alike. <laughs> <laughs> um, where were we? Oh, Roberto. Well, I guess we should describe Roberto, the new caretaker next door, as younger, even though he's old. Yeah. Okay. Got that all straightened out. I got I got it straightened out in my mind. I don't know if my mouth will say it right, but in my mind I got it straightened out. Okay, good. Okay, bye. So we had a big uh, palm break a big pot. The roots broke the pot. Having one, take it out. <laughs> you plant that in the house? No, I'm not planting it in the house. It's going to the dump. I went to Walmart the other day, but I have to do a voiceover instead of what I was saying because of copyright strikes on the music. I've gotten them before. Anyway, they have 14 checkout stands. Only two of them are going, and the lines go all the way back to the hardware department. Uh, maybe this is the same Walmart everywhere. I don't know, but it took a long time to get out of there. And don't anybody give me a strike for music. Not that crappy music. I'm a little short on video content today. I what? I said I'm a little short on video content today. Would you like to sing a little song? Um, a very little one. Okay. Rumple up the gum stump coon in the holler. Snake a, rake a snake a June bug. Stole a half a dollar. That's pretty good. That wasn't very good. I can do that one better. Yes, you can. You want to hold the camera? Yeah. Right, the snake, the June bug stole half dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's not the words. Oh. It's rumpa Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got to skip that part. Okay, you ready? You want to start? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Um, you're going to get the giggles, and you're going to get a giggle for 40 minutes. No, it's not happening. <laughs> Rumpel up a gump stump, coon in the holler, wreck a snickerjean bug, stole a half dollar. Well, if you've made it this far through this video, thank you for indulging our silliness. <laughs> I didn't start the channel to be silly. Uh, we just are, so it happens. But I started this channel um, five years ago for a number of reasons. First of all, I needed a hobby. And uh, I also always say that one of the reasons I started is because I had stories to tell and I ran out of friends who wanted to hear them. So I started a YouTube channel to get more friends. And uh, being close to 40,000 subscribers, thank you, my friends. <laughs> I really started the channel. I really got uh, involved and interested in making the channel when I realized that I had something positive to say about Mexico um, to combat all of negativity about Mexico. And uh, being an expat who has retired in Mexico, um, I've made over 400 videos about being an expat, a retiree who lives in Mexico. Uh, we are, of course, from the United States and at the age of 55 moved to Mexico 
for a bunch of reasons. One of them was the cost of living, of course. Uh, when we came here, the exchange rate was nine or 10 pesos to the dollar. Uh, over the last few years, it's been closer to 20, and I would like to point out that um, even though if you've watched my videos for a while, you know I probably don't live just on my Social Security, but uh, my social, I could live on my Social Security here in Mexico after we bought the house. Uh, owning a house... Uh, your living costs are pretty low here. Like my property taxes are about $300 a year. And that includes garbage service uh, three days a week. Anyway, I mentioned the exchange rate because even though the um, cost of living in the United States uh, that determines the raises in your Social Security uh, has been very, very low, for several years there, we didn't get anything. Last year, it was a little bit better with a 5% raise or something. But what I want to point out is that going with an exchange rate um, for my U.S. dollars, for my income, and my outgo is in pesos, going from 10 to the dollar to 20 to the dollar is a 100% raise in my Social Security that the exchange rate has given me. Anyway, um, I would encourage you to go back and look at some of the 400 videos I've made about living in Mexico as an expat. Um, they can't all be winners. <laughs> some of them just have to be silly. Uh, next week, it's time for me to go and pay some of the bills that I pay annually. Uh, next week, I'll take you along. We're going to go pay for my license plates for my uh, BMW, my van, and my uh, Quattromoto. And I'm uh, going to pay my property taxes for the year and my water bill for the year. So come on back next week. We'll go do those things. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.